Okay. Oh. Welcome back. So, uh, just before we continue on uh, with the Ewok episode and the detective um, cases, uh, I wanted to fill you in. I've been doing a whole bunch of um, uh, trading with a using, uh, you know, sending ships, convoys out, naval convoys out, doing financing in the game. Um, now, if I can get the ships right, so you've got your yeah, galleons, your barouks, or bar barouk, barouks, I think they're called, and East Indiamen. Um, so galleons can carry 130 uh, I hope it's, I hope I pronounced this correctly, Baruch's, Baruch's can carry 150, uh, this is of cargo I mean, and East Indiaman can carry 200. Uh, why is that useful? Well, the, they're available periodically, so at the beginning the highest you can get is a Galleon, which is 130, then it's a Baruch, which is 150, and then later on is East Indiaman, which is 200. So obviously it greatly influenced how much money you can make. Um, as far as I can personally tell, you start off being able to trade, uh, you can trade off things to get a reasonable amount of money, trade off cotton, uh, then you can trade pitch, which has the same sort of symbol which will confuse you for oil, but it's pitch. Um, trade that to and from. When you because uh, you'll understand when you see the naval map. Um, I won't do it for reasons I've mentioned in the previous parts, but I'll just explain this to you. So, more option, more trade options, open trade destinations, and trade options and goods they can trade with open up uh, the further through the game progress. So, on the east of what will become the east parts of the map. The trading map where there's more locations, more ports you can go to. Um, you'll have options like steel and all that sort of thing, right? Which has the same... Uh, the symbol will be of um, a blacksmith. A blacksmith's tool. You'll understand that when you see it. Or blacksmith's bench. Um, so, and there's another option which is sugar which have a bit of a different um it kind of looks it's a bit of a strange thing it's if you think of um wheat you know that they use to make bread but that sort of appearance the symbol well that's a symbol for sugar cane um so that's in the west steel's in the east um and if you can if you'll have to send the convoys out a few times to build up money if you get at least three or four ships, you can only you can only have four shot four shot there it is four ships docked at a port at any one time, unless they're traveling through, I believe. If you get three ships, which are hopefully galleons or baruks, you can send uh, sugar to the east, uh, west to east, which will give you quite a lot of money. Uh, then you can send steel. It is expensive. But, if you can afford it, you'll have a huge amount of profit you can get. Um, you won't lose too much from interference, which you'll see when you do the menu. Um, later on in the game, you'll have access, I think it's to pitch as well. Because pitch does become very valuable. However, later on in the game, um, when you get East Indiaman, you can have 200 cargo per vessel have three or four of those trading still sugar and steel however if you go further north on the top on the top right you'll have uh, ice and no I don't mean the drug I mean the frozen water um, they have massive blocks of it which they did trade back then you trade that to the east um, you'll make a, quite a good amount of money so you use so let's say they have three or four East Indian men by that time and you still got some, like three or four Baruchs that you don't want to, you don't really want to trade big money for, but you still want to keep them around. You use that to trade the ice, go west, and I believe it's, I think it's either coffee or probably even 
pitch, I think it is. They can um, they can send back to and from, uh, make a decent amount of money off that. So even though you can have less cargo, you can still make some additional money on the side. So I thought I'd explain that to you, just in case you're not sure what the best options are. I've done that for you. So if any better ships come up, I'll explain that. I'll let you know in due course. Anyway, let us continue with the detective series as the worker persona. Oh yes, I also thought, did I even bother going around? No, I don't think I did. Right. When we finish the detective series, I'll go and buy this persona a pistol. So to at least give ourselves some more options, but anyways. First things first. Now this, at, with this particular mission here, this can get a little tricky because you really have to look everywhere. Some of these. Even I can remember. Right, let's find the shooter with hot trail. I'll collect it. Pet. Page, come on. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, use eagle vision. Now, need to actually cross the way. This asshole will move out the way. Oh, screw it. Just take care of him. Don't have to worry about him. Here it is. Alright, let's go this way. Follow the rooftops. Because he itch. There we are. Analyze this and we keep going. Get up here. Come on. Up you go. Come on, Evelyn. Oh, have a line. I just called Evelyn. Just. Uh, where the. Ah. Aha. There it is. Just so we don't have to worry about the raising the alert level and all that kind of crap. Up. Oh. Now let's do a chase, the bugger. <laughs> Not getting away from us that easily. God damn it. Oh, damn it. Almost had him. Come here. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that's taken care of. Put them, we'll clear an authority. Excuse me, I've also bought some more pouches since I've been able to upgrade everything. When you're finished clearing, cleaning in your Orleans, come to the bayou. We'll gather near the, the dirt, near the deserted garden. We have the other witness. Hurry if you... Go away, you stupid tutorial thing. I can't read that bloody thing. Go. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hurry if you want to interrogate him as we need to get rid of everything that could expose our plans. Right, let's start clearing on authority. Hmm. 
should be at least one more one here. Nice. I think this one ran. Yeah, oh, lovely. No. Okay. Right, now just... I do enough money, so I'll just double check. Oh, let's get a pistol, it's gonna afford one easily. It is a lot of money, but it will... This actually allows you to do certain missions. Uh, look, if you start trading early enough in the game, you'll eventually want to have enough to afford this, plus do the naval trading. Um, this is actually quite useful. This means that you don't have to always switch to the assassin persona to do certain missions, because there are some that... Uh, some missions actually require this to be used. Others, if you want to you do the optional objectives, then you'll actually need a pistol. So, buy this, then it costs a lot, but it'll help out in the long run. Not that you're going to be using it all the time, but it's nice to have it for the sake of it, so. Now, you actually have some really cool weapons later on in the game. <laughs> so, just double checking. Okay. Now that we've got this, we can actually go and head off and do the other mission. And actually, while I'm at it, before I do anything else, I'll switch it. Switch the pistol, because there's a good reason for it. If I can fight my way through this city, that would be a good start, wouldn't it? Out in my way, please. Sorry for barging. <clears throat> I will do the detective mission. I just want to um, do this one. And you'll understand why soon enough. Because <laughs> uh, to do one of the optional objectives in this current mi this mission I'm about to actually requires a pistol. Let's begin. Rotten Barracks. That's actually really easy to do. It's actually easy to get inside this place, believe it or not. Don't ask me why, it just is. No, because... Oh, go on, just kill me. I hate the way it does that. I, especially when you can actually... Oh, because I don't... <laughs> I've just realized, because I don't have the whip equipped, so of course I wouldn't be able to do that. That was... Okay, that makes a bit more sense. The if all the labor vanishes... Should... Okay, right. Let's see if... Let's try this again. Jump, Madeline. Come on. Maybe that's probably why it wasn't working. Which would explain a few things. Okay. Hey! Finally! God, that's finally work. Okay. We don't need this anymore. Okay, so we switched to that. That's fine. Okay, there are guards here, but don't worry, we'll dispense of those quite quickly. And it does actually help you if you can dispose of them. There's actually a very, very easy way to do this, but sometimes you have to be a little bit patient. Well, if you got. Oh, of course you do. Use a powder cake, that's fine. We'll do that. <laughs> All right, now to use the powder cake, we have to go. Oh, oh yes, I've got to take care of these guys first. Let's go up 
here. Oh, that was... Yep. I was letting him attack me because I'm desynchronized anyway. God, that was so stupid. I should have just fast walked. Actually, I'll tell you what I should have done. I should have whistled to take care of him. That mission is so... It's actually quite simple. It's just I keep stuffing it up. <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh my god. Oh, oof, jeez, that was ten minutes. No, go the other way. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> now, he should be somewhere. Yes, you go down there. That's the way. Go up here, you idiot. Okay, cool. Take care of this other down here. So I'll share with the powder cake if we can do this correctly. Whoa! Can't spot us. I see. Oh, because he's up there. That's. It's really why that wasn't working. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, no, you're down there. That's fine. We'll sort you and climb. Helen, please. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we'll be alright, don't worry. Oop, no, no. Oh, that makes what that... Killed him. Us! I'm gonna get rid of you as well. <laughs> Doesn't screw up our plans. Okay. Where is this? There's one more. Where is he? Alright, what I'll do quickly is I will switch. Equip poison darts. Cause. Okay, because there is actually an easily accessible powder cake <laughs> over here. Don't worry, he'll walk back over, got plenty of time. <laughs> now the only trouble with this part is that this is always going to be the secluded area. You just have to be careful <coughs> that... Um, because we're going to have to loot him for this information. Um, so the problem is that there's probably going to be guards that come around, so we'll just have to wait for them to go away. Because if we get rid of one, then more come to check out the other one that's fallen, so a cycle starts repeating. So. Don't worry, he will come back to you. He take, he, um, um, he does like he walks a specific route, so don't worry. If you're missing the first time, like he, you don't get there quick enough, he'll come around the second time. So you'll be, you should be all right. Now wait till he's pretty much walking, pretty much by the, uh, side by side the keg before you shoot it for maximum damage.
Now you're probably wondering why I'm not straight away going down there. Because there's actually soldiers that patrol. And just in case they see what I mean. There's a reason I haven't done it. Gotta be a little bit patient. We'll get our opportunity, it'll be alright. We escape. Escaping is quite easy. Let's jump this. Senor, perhaps you underestimate the vast, winding expanse of the bayou. I will repeat, I need enough men to control all of it. Recruit the entire Spanish army if you must. Yours in absolute discretion. Vasquez. Vasquez? De Ferrer mentioned him in Chichen Itza. Is he the company man? I must warn Agate and the smugglers. So? As I said a little earlier, we're going to like to be traveling to the bayou anyway, so let's kill two birds with one stone. However, before we actually go there, we're going to actually do some um, side missions for a bit of a change. Um, these all look like, well, look like assassin contracts, as for those of you who have played other assassin games, you know what I'm talking about. He gave from pigeon coops. Uh, but these are business rivals. So, if you actually... Now, I'll correct one thing I have said. That, um, I believe, I think I said that shops... Um, I can't remember whether I said that shops become available to purchase later on in the game. If I did that, then I, then I correct myself. If I didn't, then that's alright. Um... You complete these business rival missions and they unlock more shops that you can purchase around the city. So sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's even three shops. So And they're always kind of interesting because they've always got little perks about how you have to complete the missions. So some are very specific. In fact, one of them you actually um if you want it full sync, you actually need to use a lady persona, which actually makes it really interesting. So, at least I think it does. Plus, they help expand the story a little bit as well. Mr. Chaperon's textiles. Mademoiselle Aveline, the overstuffed textile trade bursts with corruption. How unseemly. And the enemy is to blame? Yes. A single textiler, Monsieur Chaperon. Keeps prices tightly knotted. I'll sew this up as quickly as possible. Oh, great. Bad puns. Wonderful. Absolutely terrific. Well, I suppose I had... You, you can forgive them for that, can't you, Ubisoft? Forgive Ubisoft for using bad puns like that, but hey... You have to sort of laugh at how almost bad they are. And I totally forgot to look at the optional ones, didn't I? <laughs> you have to do this in two minutes, and I believe it remain undetected, if possible. Oh god, where is he? Ah! Where is... Hmm... Any possible to throw in a big area, you have to run everywhere just to find them. It's extremely annoying. Sure, I'm going the right way. Down here. Oh. Got him. Totally forgotten what the sa la la la. Oh yes, he's got a 
A bodyguard, I almost forgot about that. That's very, very easy to take care of though. down so yep so as you can see there's should be yeah so there's three more shops so it's usually at least one tailor and one weapons um shop that you can unlock so sometimes if there's just one it's usually a weapons shop um yeah depends on the mission really just because that's down all the way in the corner we'll leave that go around do these Okay, we got uh, <laughs> we got flying weapons. Okay, interesting. <laughs> oh dear me! If we pass any weapon, if we, there it is, passing. If we pass any shops that we can renovate um, on the way to emissions, I will certainly do so. Mister. Rattles, Rattles, Merchants. Mademoiselle Avelina, perhaps you have noticed prices are higher in the market. A trick of the enemy, I presume? Indeed. An extortionist named Rattel. He intimidates the merchants and steals their profits. To compensate, they demand more for their goods, and they give less in trade. Time for an economic adjustment. Exactly. Yes. Find him near the docks, and adjust him. We will all reap the reward. Okay, do not kill a target yourself. Oh! Oh, I... Th now... I've pretty mentioned I do... I'm doing two playthroughs, one for my own enjoyment and one for you lots. I actually remember doing these. I did... I, I've done these chains of missions a while ago. Remember this. Mm. I've got to go and f find uh, right. There's a guard. Where is he? It's actually a guard up here. Okay. Now the trick with this one is you need to use Berserker darts. Uh, should have a guard with him. No, just one. Yes, him. No. Because he should go after him and hopefully kill that target. Yes! Lovely. Now, if I don't get a chance during uh, recording, I will. S why is that not working? <laughs> the hell? Oh, the game's just being weird. Well, that's just wonderful. Oh, anyway. If it comes down to it, so I'll restart the game and, root and lower the notoriety. The notoriety. The notoriety. <laughs> Look. Oh, I'll just make up my own language today. <laughs> Oh dear me. Okay, let's have a look. I 
actually, you know what, I'll actually take a break here because <coughs> I'm a little bit worried since we can't find access to posters that probably means the game's going to shit itself in a minute so to save that from happening, we'll end it here I'll restart the game, I'll load the notoriety and um, what we'll probably do is we'll I'll come and start at this one at the top and we'll work our way down so on that note, uh, I'll see you next time for more AC Liberation Remastered.